to The Last Man, the third episode of Series 2. It's written by Helen Raynor and it's starring John Barrowman, Eve Miles, Burn Gorman, Narako Mori and Gareth David Lloyd. So yeah, Helen Raynor wanted a story to focus on Tosh because she loves the character and wanting her to take another step, which is great. So in 1918, during World War I, Gerald, Neil and Harriet Derbyshire, members of Torchwood, decide to investigate the hospital after they heard the hospital rumours about the ghosts. So after they met a scared nurse, they saw Tommy and Tosh on the other side of the rift, advising him to take his past away, which we'll get to later. Great opening. So in present day, Torchwood decide to wake Tommy up, who's been frozen, and once per year, they brought him out of the stasis for test. And yes, he's still young, just like Captain America, and the inspiration came from a short fictional document written by James Goss for the In-Universe Torchwood Institute website created by BBC Online for the first series. So when Tommy woke up, he was struggling and punched Owen in the face, but luckily Tosh let him know that she's there. So Tommy got dressed, and so then him and Tosh went on a sesh. Tommy Brockless, who's born in 7th of February 1894 in Blackley, Manchester, Tommy fought in World War One, and because of his shell shock, he gets sent to hospital. I think Anthony Lewis did well playing this character. Helen Raynor felt he was a perfect boyfriend for Tosh. And Russell T. Davis described this episode as a love story, and indeed it is. She also said that their brief relationship was not a mutual relationship, but a pretend relationship, as Tosh only gets him out of the box once a year. One of the episode's working title was Soldier's Heart, an American Civil War term for shell shock. The final title recalls an infamous order from Field Marshal Douglas Haig on 11th of April 1918 in response to the German Spring Offensive, which included the phrase, every position must be held to the last man, there must be no retirement. This policy led shell-shocked soldiers like the fictional Tommy to be sent back to war after a very short repercussion period. The scene where Gwen is in abandoned hospital and a guy with one leg moving towards her as fast as he can was really intense. I was like, oh shit. Gwen ran, but he disappears like he's some kind of illusion. That hospital is definitely haunted. So Jack calls the meeting to warn everybody there's two different time zones seems to be attached, 1918 and present day. Owen lets Tosh know that she and Owen became too close. I actually found it funny when Owen thought that poster was from future, but turns out it's just a normal present traffic and painting. So the team have a way to get Tommy back, but unfortunately when he goes back in time, he'll be back to who he was, he'll have a shell shock again, and he's going to get shot by a British army for cowardness, which is horrible. But yeah, they have to send him back to help him to save the future, as Jack saw an old letter. At least Jack allows Tommy to stay over at Tosh until half six in the morning. Jack mentions that he left home a long time ago, but he has no idea where he belongs. But being where he is, he never dreamt to see. And yes, Ianto and Jack smooched. So the next day, Tommy puts his pyjamas on, then he and the Torchwood team went back to the hospital. And understandably, he's scared and doesn't want to go back. So Tosh managed to insist Tommy to go back. Time began to fracture, so Tosh and Tommy arrived in 1918 and tell Gerald and Harriet what to do. So they took Tommy's pass from the bed so Tommy can go back to his bed, like he's never left. Tommy hasn't used the key, so Tosh gets injected to appear where Tommy is in a bed as a psychic projection and get him to use the rift manipulator so the time shift closes. So in the end, Tosh packs Tommy's clothes, Captain Jack thanked her and she sat with Owen mentioning that Tommy trusted her because she was strong. Helen Raynor mentioned what Tosh had to learn is that Tommy can't be treated like a toy and the end of this episode is hugely painful goodbye for them both. Emotional episode. What do you guys think of this episode? Drop it down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Next episode to talk about is meat. I'll see you then.